All right, now we got an intriguing night game here in the SEC, Shane. Auburn on the road at South Carolina. The Tigers favored by seven and a half points on the road. The over-under is mm-hmm. 45 points. And this is going to be the night game on ESPN, 7 o'clock Eastern, 6 o'clock Central. Last season, South Carolina won this matchup 30-22. to 22. Bo Nix is out. Mm-hmm. Anders Carlson, the kicker's out. Auburn's coming off a humiliating defeat. Who do you like in the matchup? Well, I mean, it wasn't like South Carolina came out and <laughs> performed too well last week. That's that's the only downside, Mike. Is I, I want I want to say there these two teams right here drive me nuts. I mean, yeah. short of the Tennessee Volunteers, there's there's not two programs right now other than maybe Texas A and M. I'll I'll throw them in there that are more frustrating than these two ball clubs because just when you count them out, they turn out mm-hmm. to be good. And as soon as they look good, they turn out to suck. You know, it's like, what what are we going to get this week? The, here's, here's the facts, Mike. South Carolina needs another victory, and they're running out of time and opportunity. What, I, I don't think there is a better shot than this week with Auburn coming off that horrible – horrible game against Mississippi State. I, I mean, just the that's all I've heard all week is is this how how many points Mississippi State was able to put up on you. Your quarterback's got a broken bone. It's just like there's not anything positive coming out uh from the plains right now. And South Carolina, you know, they're kind of the same. It's just yeah, there's just not a lot of buzz into this one. I'm I'm, I'm kind of curious how many people are going to be at this game, to be honest with you, Mike, because I'm not getting the pumped up. You know, last week we had social media coming out with the van videos after the Florida Gator game. It felt like we had a little bit of live fair in Gamecock country, and then we just we got rid of it. Missouri yeah. took it home with them, and apparently they do get a trophy for that thing. So, uh, but anyway, <laughs> who bounces back? That's that's what this thing boils down to. Who bounces back? And I'm going to tell you right now, Mike. The more I thought about this game, I got to go with the team that's actually bounced back, and that's going to be the Auburn Tigers. I don't think it's going to be pretty, Mike. I really don't. I, I think they're going to try to get Tank involved, but they're going to have to get TJ involved. I think mm-hmm. this is one of those games. That we got to see some quarterback play, man. We got to see some wide receivers getting open. We got to see somebody make plays that hasn't been making plays. And I think we get it, man. Auburn's defense, I love them. Uh, I I think that it's a love hate relationship, but I I think they're going to be able to contain South Carolina. Why? Because just about everybody has. You know what I'm saying? There's not a lot of identity unless they fired the coordinator while I wasn't paying attention. I'm not expecting (laughs) much from that offense. The, The game plan's simple just stop the running. I mean, the fact that I can draw it up, Mike, and go in there and win that game should piss you off if you're a South Carolina fan. So that's why I've got Auburn pulling away from this thing, barely. In fact, I wasn't even confident that there'd be any points scored in this thing. <laughs> Auburn 28, South Carolina 21. So give me Carolina with the spread, but I like Auburn to win the game. Yeah, Shane, and when I look at Auburn, I mean, I see a lot of the same things we saw from Missouri last week. We got star running back. We've got Mm -hmm. questionable quarterback. We've got defense that just got shredded. So, you know, despite the deficiencies of the Auburn Tigers, it, I mean, at least to me, it looks like Auburn's got a lot of what Missouri was able to use against South Carolina. Now, you know, they Mm -hmm. have an opportunity to uh, bounce back, get a win here on the road. But on the flip side, South Carolina plays a lot better at home and, you know, yeah. I'll push I'll push back a little bit on what you said because these South Carolina Gamecock fans, let's give them credit, they're still showing up. They're still getting loud. And last time they played, uh, I don't think the Gators knew what was coming. And if they can show up in that force again, I think they can cause the Auburn Tigers. And uh, T.J. Finley, who is an inexperienced quarterback, particularly on the road, cause him some trouble. So I think this is going to be a tight ball game, Shane, but – You know, I think you may have hit the nail on the head. When I look at these two, I'm particularly thinking of these the coaches and the players. You know, there's one side here that has shown the ability to bounce back. There's one side Mm -hmm. that is proven to just be inconsistent and you don't know what you're gonna get week in and week out. Now that could be both we're talking about, but you know, Brian (laughs) Harson's got a long track record, so does Mike Bobo, so does Derek Mason. Whereas at South Carolina, 
we don't quite have a long track record. And I think, Mm -hmm. you know, by the time the season ends, we're going to look back at that Florida game and say, how in the hell did South Carolina whoop up on the Florida Gators? And I think that'll be more of an outlier than anything else. So even with the quarterback being down for Auburn, hell, South Carolina's really down to their third quarterback of this season. So it's not like that's a massive advantage to the Gamecocks. I'm right there with you. I think Auburn goes on the road, gets a, gets a win, but I like South Carolina to cover. And I actually got it even lower than you, Shane. I got Auburn 20, South Carolina 14. Oh my God, Mike. You know, and, and the thing is, you couldn't script this better for South Carolina. You need a victory and you got an, I mean, you got an Auburn team that, that's coming off a, a defeat that's been lingering. Mm-hmm. And then you got a new court, a, a new quarterback back there. It's just the, 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 you couldn't picture a better opportunity to get to a bowl game. I just cannot convince myself that South Carolina puts enough points on the board. I may look back at this and say, what the hell was I thinking? <laughs> you know, <laughs> if, like you said, if the fans show up, I think that's the big X factor, man. If Gamecock Nation does get out there and makes that place as, as loud and violent as they as we all know they can, mm-hmm. I'm talking just deafening noise, especially with a quarterback that's just not been under a lot of pressure. I, I think that could be the deciding factor, man. But if if they don't, if the fans don't come out to this thing and, and TJ's able to call his audibles and they're able to change things at the line of scrimmage, yeah, you're 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 gonna be in for a loss. So I, I think this one is I think this is on Game Cock Nation, Mike. I'm putting this one on them. Yeah, and, and given the fact that uh, we're both picking Auburn, that's a good indication South Carolina's gonna win it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am alert. I'm a little worried about how close we are in these picks. 